Now let's discuss fish. Packed with vital minerals, protein, and good omega-3 fatty acids. It might hold the key to a contented heart and a well-groomed physique. But there's something you should know before you bite into it. Selecting the incorrect fish can really cause more harm than benefit because not all fish are created equal. We'll discuss 7 fish today that you should never eat. Together with some of the greatest possibilities for fish. In addition to crucial guidelines to remember when purchasing fish. We'll also show you a common fish that can live for 150 years and is highly sought after on menus at restaurants. However, we advise against using this one. For a fish that is 150 years old, it has spent that entire period accumulating poisons. Furthermore, those toxins cause havoc in the body and brain as they enter the bloodstream. But first, would you please do us a favor? Please help us spread the news about heart disease prevention by giving this page a thumbs up. Additionally, press the bell to view our most recent videos. Our goal is to provide you with up-to-date information so you can lead a long and healthy life. Stay tuned to learn how to receive two complimentary items related to heart health. We promise that you will adore them, as will your heart. 1. Tilapia it may surprise you to learn that consuming tilapia has certain drawbacks compared to bacon. In fact, a 2008 study published in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association found that eating more farmed fish, such as tilapia, is causing diets to become extremely inflammatory. According to experts at Wake Forest University School of Medicine, tilapia is among the most popular fish eaten in the United States. What's wrong with that? It has extremely high quantities of inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids and, maybe worse, very low levels of healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Maintaining elevated inflammatory levels in the body may be associated with long-term ailments like diabetes, cancer, and heart disease as well as exacerbate autoimmune disease symptoms. 2. Atlantic Cod Although the species has a long history of being essential to the New World's culture and the initial colonization of the Caribbean Sea, the effects of intensive fishing over the past millennium have been felt by the Atlantic Cod. A disaster hit in the late 1990s, the fishery collapsed. Only a small percentage of the more than 100 million eggs released by the female cod managed to mature into adults. Scientists concur, according to Oceana, that the collapse of the Atlantic cod has radically altered the North Atlantic food webs, and the species is now at risk of going extinct. Make sure the cod liver oil you enjoy isn't made from Atlantic fish if you enjoy it. Choose Alaskan cod instead, which is caught using a jig, pot, or longline. 3. Atlantic flatfish, Atlantic halibut, flounder, and sole. These flatfish species have earned a spot on the list of fish you should never eat because of past overfishing and high contamination levels. The largest ocean conservation organization in the world, Oceana, used information from the National Marine Fisheries Service to carry out an investigation in 2014. Based on wasted bycatch, it determined the nine worst fisheries in the United States. The researchers discovered that annually, Commercial fishermen in the United States discard over 2 billion pounds of bycatch over the edge. That is roughly the equal of 500 billion fish lunches. One of the worst gillnet fisheries in the world is the halibut targeting one in California. The paper claims that there's a strong probability that any American halibut you've eaten came from this harmful fishery. 4. Caviar Ancient species called beluga sturgeon are prized for their fish eggs, often known as caviar. Actually, this fish can reach a size of several hundred pounds, live to be 100 years old, and carry several hundred pounds of caviar, which can fetch up to $3,500 per pound. Oceana claims that the species that yields this highly sought-after caviar is seriously endangered. If you just can't live without caviar, Seafood Watch suggests the more sustainable alternative, caviar from blue sturgeon farmed in American recirculating aquaculture systems. 5. Chilean Sea Bays Seafood distributors began promoting this deep-sea predator fish, officially known as the Patagonian toothfish, as Chilean sea bass because it sounded less scary. It was successful. Due to overfishing, Chilean sea bass are becoming a familiar sight on menus across the United States. 
In addition to overfishing, there are issues with the high mercury levels. Furthermore, issues with bycatch and inadequate management also afflict the fish harvesting industry in Chile. 6. Eel In their sushi guide, Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch lists eel as something to avoid due to its sluggish maturity and history of overfishing, which has led to the collapse of some populations. As a result, even Asian nations are turning to American eels, whose populations in the United States are also under danger. That's problematic as eels play a critical role in safeguarding our water supply. For example, eels play a key role in the spread of mussel populations in the Delaware River, which act as natural water filters. In addition to the problems associated with overfishing, eels have a propensity to easily absorb and retain dangerous substances, including flame retardants and polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs. River eels are so filthy in some regions, such as New Jersey, that adult consumers are recommended to eat no more than one eel per year. 7. Farmed Salmon Salmon is widely consumed in America. Regretfully, most of them are the worst kind. The majority of salmon that is sold as Atlantic salmon is actually farmed, which means that the fish are raised in environments that are frequently tainted with bacteria, parasites, feces, and pesticides. Furthermore, research indicates that farmed salmon has a higher likelihood of containing dangerous chemicals like PCBs, which have been connected to obesity, cancer, insulin resistance, and stroke. They also typically have greater levels of inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids and are frequently treated with antibiotics. Choose wild-caught Alaskan salmon over Atlantic salmon for a superior substitute. 8. Imported Farmed Shrimp Are prawns healthy for you? The answer is unequivocally no when it comes to farmed shrimp, which makes up around 90% of the shrimp we eat. A food ingredient called for hexorosorcinol, which is used to keep prawns from discoloring, was shown in 2009 by Italian researchers to have the potential to lower male sperm counts and raise female breast cancer risks. Furthermore, the use of all but one of the pesticides used worldwide in the shrimp industry is prohibited in American shrimp farms. Additionally, dangerous pesticides and chemicals like rotenone, malachite green, and organotin compounds, all of which can be damaging to human health, are used to treat shrimp farm ponds. Additionally, a network of enslavement in Thailand was discovered by the Associated Press during its investigation into the global prawn peeling industry. Should you feel compelled to consume prawns, Seafood Watch of Monterey Bay suggests going for Alaskan or U.S. farmed varieties. Please like and share this video with your friends if you liked it so that we can continue to make more like it. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to watch our other videos as well. I appreciate you seeing it.